हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एच डी के इन्फोसिस टूडे सेशन इज मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन टेस्टिंग ऑनलाइन ट्रेनिंग डेमो माई सेल्फ प्रसाद having more than 9 years of experience in software testing during during my career i work with different flavors of testing such as manual testing automation testing with multiple tools qtt selenium and test complete and also i'm having very good experience with mobile application testing in both android and ios this is brief about myself and i will be taking care of your mobile application testing sessions for the next 4 uh, weeks okay the very first question comes into my mind is why i need to learn this mobile application testing course see this is the very first question comes into anyone when you are learning something when you joining some course the very first question why i am learning this course what is the prerequisite for this and what kind of opportunities i will be getting after once i am done with my course okay here is the answer see i am learning this course because current and next generation is completely into mobile that means now if you see almost most of the organizations they are moving their application to that mobile say for example in this demo we are having huge number of participants and out of which at least 20 to 30% of the participants might have joined through your uh, mobile down the line if you see after a couple of years or one year you can see most of the people may join through mobile because nowadays what is happening is so uh, few people are using this mobile app to do the transactions and to do the daily work however down the line which is nothing but next generation next generation will be completely into mobile now say for example now if you want to if you want to connect with h2kt right now you are sending that queries through your uh, desktop browser you are opening that application in your uh, laptop browser and then you are uh, sending a query through your uh, laptop browser like chrome firefox or ie but down the line maybe you can you can see like in one or two years even h2k infosys will be having a mobile app to connect with the students because as i said earlier now each and every organization is moving their application to that mobile world nowadays organizations may be having that applications which can be accessed through your uh, desktop browser however now all the organizations they are moving their application to the mobile because each and every customer wants everything in his hand in his smartphone so now almost everyone is using the smartphones and every customer is expecting everything with this smartphone itself now one more thing is this mobile application testing is very easy to learn so even though you are a fresher and you don't know anything about your testing still you can learn this uh, mobile application testing it is very easy to learn as i said earlier i said that complete next generation is into mobile so when i say that uh, complete into mobile that means there is a huge number of opportunities for both development work as well as qa work so you are getting like huge number of apps into the market that means whenever if you are getting that huge number of apps means so there there could be development work developers will develop that apps testers will test that app so as a tester i will be having more number of opportunities in mobile world okay fine so we discussed it is very easy to learn the next question what is the prerequisite for this mobile application testing course so if you guys know manual testing that's well and good so if you know like minimum basics of your manual testing that's absolutely a add on that's a, that's absolutely a plus for you however if you are a fresher and if you don't know that manual testing basics are so still you can learn this course this course uh, does not demand any prerequisites if we have manual testing basics that's well and good 
However, it's not mandatory. And one more thing is, nowadays, everyone knows that how to use the smartphone. See, if you know how to use the smartphone, that means you are eligible for eligible to apply mobile application tester position. If I know how to use my mobile, how to use my smartphone, that means I can apply for mobile application tester position by learning few concepts in the mobile world. Okay, fine. Here that entire course is divided into two parts. One is your basics. Another one is nothing but you are advanced. So basics is uh, basics mobile testing course is like four to five hours. As part of this uh, basics course, we will be learning what is mobile application testing. What are all the different mobile application types? That means how many mobile application types are available. And then as a tester, if I want to test these different types of mobile application testing, what kind of uh, work I will be doing with that? We will discuss that. And then we will be discussing about how to create the strategy for your mobile applications. See, when you are working with your mobile application testing, creating the strategy is really important. Because... See, if somebody is asking you to test that mobile application, it is not possible for me to test with each and every device in the market. If you see in the market, you are having thousands of the devices. How can you expect me to test with each and every device? It is not possible. So you have to create your mobile application strategy saying that how you are going to test the application. What is your strategy to test your mobile application? We will discuss that mobile application testing strategy followed by mobile application testing test cases. Now, I need to write the test cases for my mobile applications. If you want to write the test cases for your mobile application uh, testing, we will discuss that how to write the test cases for your mobile application testing. So here, one more thing guys here, whatever we are learning, each and every concept, we will be learn through an example. We will take one example, and we will try to understand all the concepts through that particular example. Once we are done with that basics, then we will go to that uh, advanced. So in this advanced, what we will do is we will start with the web services. The web services testing is nowadays is uh, very important, and I can say that uh, web services testing nowadays become popular, and also it's mandatory also. Nowadays, it's very mandatory for any application. If you see, for any application development, nowadays I'm talking, nowadays is uh, web services is almost uh, important and uh, web services are uh, compulsory for any application development. Especially for the mobile applications, web services, without web services, you will not find any mobile applications. Nowadays, I'm talking. Web services are really important and really useful for any application development. So let's talk about that. What is web services? As a tester, how I will test that web services? To test the web services, how I will test and what tools I will use. So here we will be learning this web services testing. As I said earlier, whatever we are learning, we will be learning through an example. Here also, for this web services testing also, I will take a couple of web services and I will explain you that web services testing practically. We will take that example from the testing point of view, what kind of testing you will do that web on the web services. We will discuss that. Once this is done, then what we will do is, we will go to that Android application testing. See here, right, uh, as I said earlier, if you are doing your mobile application testing, we will be focusing on that Android and iOS. So most of the times, we will learn whatever you are learning in the mobile application testing, we will learn in both Android and iOS. So in Android app testing. So let's talk about that. What is Android? How many versions are available in the Android? Because you should know all this history. If you don't know that history, if somebody is asking you to test that application in the Android platform, if somebody is asking you to test in Android, Android platform, at least you should know that what are all the different versions are available. 
then only i can start testing that application based on the timelines so let's start start our uh, android app testing with android version history let's talk about that uh, version history what are all the different versions are available we will talk about that and then we will talk about that android architecture see i am a tester so i i will not talk about that in detail about your architecture however you should know that minimum uh, what do you call uh, basic understanding of your architecture android architecture android components we will discuss about that then we will be discussing about that android app testing in both the real devices and your emulators see for the time being emulator is nothing but virtual device so when you are testing your application so it is not possible to test that application with each and every real device so when you are testing your application and then you are planning to test your application with your different version devices so client may not provide all the devices because it is very expensive so you cannot you cannot expect all the virtual devices from the client what client will do client may provide client may provide like few real devices and the client will ask you to test remaining with your emulator emulator is nothing but virtual device that means now i don't have that real device so when i don't have the real device what is my next option i will test my application with the emulator which is nothing but virtual device see when i say that virtual device simple example so you guys are uh, having your laptop and during your previous uh, courses like you learn so many other tools when you are working with that other tool other tools what you have done so when you want to install your uh, tools you have created one virtual machine in your laptop so your laptop is i mean right your laptop oh like your laptop is having only <coughs> sorry so when you are working with your uh, laptops so say for example i install my qtp some time back after 30 days my qtp will expire so when my qtp will expire then it will not allow me to install in the laptop again so this kind of situation what i will do i will create a virtual machine right which looks exactly similar to your uh, normal laptop only it looks exactly similar to your windows 7 operating system but it's a virtual device so what i can do is i can do all the things in that virtual device i can install my qtp tool i can uh, what do you call uninstall that and later on if i want to delete that virtual machine delete it and you can recreate it whatever you want you can do that because it's a virtual machine but it works exactly similar to your real device okay similarly in mobile also what you can do is you can create your uh, virtual mobile device how to create that virtual mobile device how to work with the device everything i will be discussing in detail going forward so here when you are learning your android app testing you should know that how to test your application with your real device how to test your application with your emulator as part of this uh, device testing you need some uh, sdk tools that is nothing but software development kit so you need some uh, sdk toolkit so we will learn that required tools as part of our course and also during your testing you may need uh, screenshots or you may need log files so you should know that how to take the screenshots you should know that how to take the log files because when you are reporting that defect to your developer so if if you don't have any supporting uh, documents like your logs and your uh, screenshots your developer may come back saying that uh, i want more information because if you are simply giving some statements developer may not understand so it is always a good idea to provide all the log files and screenshots for that particular defect okay and then and also we will be discussing about that ios uh, ios platform ios platform is nothing but iphone operating system we will talk about that this ios iphone operating system so here also same thing we will talk about that history we will talk about that uh, how to work with your uh, ios real device that means iphones how to work with your uh, virtual device so we will discuss about the same thing like how to take the screenshots how to take the log files we will discuss about that once we are done with this android app testing once we are done with this ios app testing 
Then I will talk about that one of the cloud-based testing tool is nothing but your Perfecto tool. So these days, uh, this Perfecto tool is uh, becoming very, very popular. Perfecto tool. We will talk about this Perfecto tool. So this Perfecto tool is uh, becoming very popular nowadays. So what I will do is I will be talking about this tool. This tool is nothing but like, right, I will tell you a simple example. Now say for example, you are working with a team and your team is sitting in the different locations like few team members is sitting in US, few team, few team members is sitting in UK and few team members is sitting in India. So you are, you are, I mean your team is sitting in different different locations and you guys are working with the same application, same mobile applications. So during the testing time, it is very difficult to give the real device to each and every location, right? All, all, almost, right? Uh, almost you are uh, buying three sets of devices because you are having a team in the three different locations. It is not possible. It is very expensive. This kind of situation, what we will do is, we will share the device by using this uh, cloud-based testing. That is nothing but like you are hosting you are hosting your real device in one location. That location is nothing but your Perfecto. Perfecto will maintain all the real devices so that uh, any other team members can access it. That means like if you are sitting in UK, doesn't matter. You can directly go to that Perfecto and you can access it. Similarly, if you are sitting in India, you can directly go to that Perfecto and access it. And if you are sitting in US, you can directly go to that Perfecto tool and access it. So that what you can do? can save the time, you can save the money. That's the reason this uh, Perfecto tool and one more tool is there, Device Anywhere. Device Anywhere and Perfecto is having the same concept. Even this Device Anywhere also, they will provide the devices in that uh, server. You can access that devices for your testing purpose. Okay. After that, then what we will do is we will be talking, talking about that automation testing. For this automation testing, uh, I selected a tool called C-Test Automation. The reason behind uh, uh, of this particular tool selection is this tool does not require any programming skills. If I selected RoboTM, RPM, these are the uh, one. Of, these are uh, uh, one of the popular tools for your automation testing, like RoboTM and RPM. But these tools requires good programming skills. If you are a good programmer. If you have good programming skills, I suggest to go with your RPM and uh, RoboTM tools. However, if you are if you're learning your mobile application testing for the first time and if you don't have that uh, much programming skills, then what you can do is you can use this C-Test Automation tool for your automation testing. This tool will be like similar to your QTP. Now, this tool also will be having your record and playback. And also, you can edit that uh, recorded scripts. You can create your... Uh, Scripts. Same thing like your QTP and this tool is very simple and we will be learning this C-Test Automation tool as part of this course. These are all the things which we are covering as part of this uh, mobile application uh, testing course. If you guys are having any doubts, please let me know and I will walk through that all the contents one more time. If you have any doubts and then if you feel that some more topics needs to be added, you can always let me know during our course. So first we will talk about that introduction to mobile application testing. Then we will talk about that what is mobile testing and what is mobile application testing. As a tester, right, you should know the technical difference between your mobile testing and mobile app testing. Here we are learning mobile app testing. I will discuss about that in detail what is mobile testing and what is mobile app testing going forward. And you are having your different different types of mobile applications like your native applications, hybrid applications and mobile web applications. We will discuss what is native application, what is hybrid, what is mobile web. Now as a tester, what is the difference I can see in my native, hybrid and mobile web applications. So here whatever we are learning, we will be always learning from your uh, Okay, <clears throat> here whatever we are learning, we will be always learning with respect to testing point of view, right? Fine. Then what we will do is, we will be talking about that strategy, how to prepare the strategy and then 
if I want to create my strategy, what I have to do, and then how to create the strategy, we will be creating one strategy for one of the mobile applications. Then you are having your different different platforms like you are having your uh, what you call uh, Android, iOS, Windows, Boda, Symbian, Blackberry. So many platforms are there for your mobile. But here we will be focusing on that Android and iOS because the reason is you are having huge number of opportunities. You are having huge number of testing opportunities in these two areas, Android and iOS. Okay. So whatever we are learning here, so we will be learning based on this Android and iOS platforms. And then once we are done, then we will talk about that web services as I said earlier. We will, we will understand this complete web services. We will see that how to test that web services as a tester, what kind of testing I will do on the web services. We will talk about that. Then we will go to that uh, test cases, how to write the test cases and we will write the test cases for one of the application. Then we will talk about that Android app is Android app testing, how to test it, how to create the environment, what is the components for your Android, how to test that Android app. So we will discuss on this like how to take the screenshots, how to take the log files, how to configure your real device, how to configure your emulator, we will discuss. Then what we will do is whatever we will learn in that Android, the same concept we will learn in the iOS also. iOS is nothing but iPhone operating system. We will learn the same thing in iOS also. So here also we will be discussing the same concepts like history, creating that uh, uh, application in the real device and then create that application in that uh, virtual device, test the, test the application in an emulator and your uh, real device, you take the log files, screenshots, everything, whatever you learn in your uh, Android, the same things we will learn in iOS also. Now you are having your different, different testings in your mobile applications. We will be discussing about that, all the testing types in your uh, mobile. Okay. Fine. So, and also I will be, what I will do is I will also show you how to track the defects. See, you found the defects. So, if you find the defects, how to track your defects, where to track the defects. We will discuss in detail about your uh, tracking the defects. And then what we will do is we will be discussing your perfecter tool, which is used for your cloud-based testing tool. So, you will be having all the devices in the server. You can access that servers anywhere from anywhere. Uh, in the world like wherever you are sitting doesn't matter just you will log into that perfect tool and then you can access that real device for your testing purpose and then as i said we will be talking about that ctest automation tool this tool doesn't require any programming skills so programming skills you can directly use this tool for for your automation purpose so this tool is very simple so if you guys know qtp then this tool is nothing this tool is even easy we will be discussing about that uh, all this tool, how to record the mobile applications and then how to execute it, how to edit that recorded script, how to create the scripts. So all these things will be discussed as part of your uh, C-Test automation tool. So once this is done, then we are good with that mobile application testing. However, if I missed any topics or if you feel that anything needs to be added, you can always approach me, you can always uh, let us know in the sessions. So that we will discuss those topics in the sessions as usual. Okay. Fine. If you have any queries, please get in touch with the HTK support team for any admin related queries. However, if you have any queries with respect to technical, if you have any technical queries, you can always drop a mail. Okay. This is my email ID. If you have any queries, you can always drop a mail to this email ID. Uh, I will be replying with all the answers. Okay? Fine, team. That's it from my side. Thank you all.